What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Avery here, and man, I'm in a good mood because I just saw this regional deck come in seventh place. Destroy the ever living boo boo stain stun out of that like button <laughs> so that we can get to 1,000 subscribers. We currently at 954. What you doing watching this video? Go ahead and hit that sub button. I'll be your best friend. And then just go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know that you subscribe so that we can get you on in to the best of the worlds of being on the Avery squad. That's what it's all about. So smash us so that we can get to our goal, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a motherfucking stun deck. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves an Albaz with some brain diffusion evenly is just for extra measure, along with some Dogmatica punishments and elder entity ends because we like popping your shit. And when we go to time, we're going to emergency provision your ass. <laughs> so this was a seventh place regional deck profile from... I'm going to probably butcher his fucking name. I believe his name was Angelo Sakakis. I could be wrong. Uh, don't don't quote me on that. Anyway, dude seems really cool. I don't speak Spanish, so I couldn't understand a fucking word that he said. But he did top with this. So let's just go ahead and diggity dive on into it. And yes, we're a couple drinks in, so we are hard. Now, <laughs> let's go ahead and dive on into this. We're playing one copy of uh, Fallen Outbass because it's good. Two copies of Ecclesia. Your only targets are punishment. Who really cares? Three copies of Fossidine and one copy of Barrier Statue of the Storm wins. It's not just for flunders, folks. It's for stun, too. So I was talking with my dad about this build, all jokes aside, and he was saying, you know, I just want to summon a statue, set back row, and I'm like, but dad, come on now. You know as well as I do that summoning a statue and setting back row is not necessarily going to always get you there. You need to have some sort of extra engine that can help you out. It's the same concept as if you wanted to play a stun deck with Fossil Dinos and Barrier Statues, but then you also played a Dragoon engine because Dragoon is was just that good. You know, being able to go Red Eyes Fusion, make a Dragoon and set back row and leave a card in your hand for a negate is honestly still really good to this day. So applying that concept, but with a Fallen of Albaz engine is amazing because it gives you access to Mirror Jade, having a quick effect banish, and you also have punishment, which can potentially be a double pop because you dump an Ents, pop their monster, use Ents to pop another monster. Just don't let it conflict with your Necro Valley like my dumbass has done in the past. For the spells, we're playing two Nadir Servant because Konami put it at two. This would come back to three, honestly. Two copies of Desires. This should also be at three. Three Branded Fusion, three Extra with one Card of Demise and two Necro Valley. This man Angelo said, we going all gas to the floor and we ain't stopping at no gas station, bitches, especially with this inflation. <laughs> so you've got your two desires and your Shrek Strap. You got five draws plus the demise is six draw cards. And this makes sense because, I mean, you want to see your engine cards as quick as you can. You want to have as much gas as you can. And with all the three of's that you play, you really don't mind playing desires. I personally have just never been a fan of desires because I want to have the resources in my deck. I know that you're probably never going to draw into those resources to begin with, but still, it's just, especially in a 40-card deck, like, man, you better be winning in the next couple turns. Like, honestly, like, this, this, I feel like, and especially in a stun deck, this can make or break you. So, and then, of course, Necro Valley is just disgusting because it just says fuck you to tier elements. Like, tier elements can't play the game. They straight up cannot play the game. Like, I, I was watching some Crystal Beast replays, and I saw where Crystal Beast, that, that new trap that they have, searches any field spell. Another reason why Mystic Mind should be fucking banned. But besides the point, the fact that it can search any field spell so they can just play a copy of Necro Valley just be fucking cuz <laughs> is just busted. Uh, and then we're playing three copies of Imperm, three copies of Evelyn, because going second sucks ass. Three Punishment, three Evac, because it's still good in 2022. Three Crackdown, because it's basically a Widow Anchor. Two Strike and three Judgment, because I don't want you to have any fun. <laughs> for the side deck, let's go ahead and skip on over the extra deck from in here. We're playing three Lava Golem, because we like breaking boards. Three Lightning Storm, because bitch, I ain't losing the old back row. One Feather Duster, for the same reason we just mentioned. One Emergency Provision, because we don't want to get cheated by a cocksucking Sky Striker player in time, like what happened to us. Uh, just saying. <laughs> Two TC Boo, because honestly, Floodgates are really, really good in this deck. Like, if you know you're going to go first, you can just side out the Evenlies. You could side out, like, even the Strikes. Like, you have a lot of flexibility in this main deck to kind of play around with the side deck. Two Unending Nightmare, because Eldelich, honestly, is probably a really tough matchup for this deck. And three copy of Dark Bribe, just 
they have more negates. You know, in classic stun decks, especially like statue stun, a lot of builds would play like triple judgment, triple bribe, because you want to keep that statue on the board or keep that fossil dino on the board to stop the opponent from playing the game. And dark bribe is just really good. Like no one's gonna see this coming. Even in like a Mystic Mind Bird deck, like no one's no one can really prepare for, you know, Dark Bribe. Like, they can maybe play through a Solemn Judgment or maybe bait it out. But, like, if they're trying to use, like, back row hate to out your back row, you know, having the Dark Bribe on a counter trap is just amazing. You don't care that the opponent draws a card. It's like, what the fuck are you going to draw? You're going to draw into a Branded Fusion if you're a Despi player that you can't use because I have a Fossil Dino or a Barrier Statue on board. Or, like, even if you're playing Flunder, like, okay, cool. I negate your Unknown Win. You're going to draw into, like, what? A street to banish the unknown win and get it back with toucan bitch we ain't gonna let you get that far we've got six monster negates not even counting the strikes really we've got eight we got eight because we got the three emperor the three crackdown the two strikes not to mention i'm probably gonna punishment your ass and just go ins to pop another card oh it's disgusting so let's go ahead and uh look at the extra deck here real quick i was about to say let's shuffle some hands but let's look at the extra deck real quick we're playing three mirror jade one lubelion three bastard dragon three albion three ints one omega and one ferret blossom um, you're playing all these three of because you're playing extra. That's really all you need to know. Um, outside of the Mirror Jade and the Lubelions, Bastard Dragon all the way to Ferret Blossom are your punishment targets. The lowest attack you're looking at here for it is the Ferret Blossom at 16, and then Omega at the highest at 28. Everything else here, uh, the Bastard to the Ents is 2,500. Remember, keep in mind, punishment dumps to Grave, so it will trigger the Bastard Dragon. It triggers the Albion. You know, you can you can dump an Albion, pop a monster, and then set, like, Branded Fusion to your field or just add it to your hand. Like, uh, punishment is still in 2022 an amazing freaking card especially with elder entity ints being able to get that secondary pop it turns punishment into a double pop card it is so damn good so what's the main end goal of this deck from the few test hands that i've done really what you want to end on ideally is mirror jade plus fossil dina and back row you can't tell me that that's not good in 2022. Like, what's Tear Element going to do? Tear Element can't super poly your ass. You've got Fossil Dina. So they have to deal with the Fossil Dina with either Imperm or Dark Ruler or what have you. They have to deal with that in some way before they can even fucking consider dealing with your big-ass Mirror Jade that even if they pop it, you're just going to pop all their monsters at the end of the turn. So if they can't OTK your ass, they're going to get punished for it. Let's go ahead and shuffle some, up, some hands here. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, five. This is fucking disgusting. Like, we just win. You set the uh, the crackdown and the evac. You can either summon the fossil diner or just activate the Nadir Servant, dumping pfft, shit, whatever the fuck you want. You can dump the Ashen Dragon or dump the Albion to get the branded uh, fusion to your hand at the end phase to get yourself a search of Ecclesia. You can summon that to grab punishment because punishment's your only target. Or you can just go, you know, fuck all y'all, extra, draw on the punishment and imperm. That's actually the, really the proper play here. You set the punishment and the imperm <laughs> along with compulse and crackdown. So you've got four back row with a fossil dyna. And you can just hold on to the Nadir Servant for next turn to dump an ins, pop a card and get a search of an Ecclesia or just use it that turn to get the brain infusion to your hand. And then your opponent's head's going to be fucking spinning because it's like, why are you playing fossil dyna with brain infusion? So... That right there just shows you, like, how good this is. Like, look, you've got the Compulse for the Monster Bounce. You've got this for the Monster Negate. So they're playing with potentially a four-card hand. Punishment's going to be a double pop. So they're playing with a two-card hand. Imperm didn't get another monster. Playing with a one-card hand. Oh, and you can't Special Summon. And you ain't going to attack my bitch ass. Even though this has 1,200. Nah, you ain't going to be attacking me, pimp. Just just go ahead and take that dream of yours and go ahead and throw it in the garbage. Because you, you ain't going to be attacking on over this fossil now. Now, what are some other things that you could play in this deck? There are a lot of different ways to build stun honestly you know you could run things like moon mirror shield which are just trolly as fuck because if you equip it to a monster whenever that monster battles in the i believe it's the damage calculation or damage step i may not even say that but regardless moon mirror shield will always keep the equipped monster 100 attack points higher so even if they try to go like damage step limiter well the fossil dine is still going to be 100 points higher than whatever the fuck you just limited so uh, moon mirror shield's another cool card whenever it's sent to the grave you can pay 500 life points put it on top of your deck or on the bottom i believe um 
And then what else is there? Dimension Guardian as well. I, I can't believe that that almost crossed my mind. Dimension Guardian just basically says that the monster equip can't be destroyed by battle by card effects. You could also, and I've messed around with this in the past, as has my dad, you could put the Seal of Calcos to give all your monsters an extra 500 attack, and then they have to attack the monster with the highest attack. So if you've got Statue and Dinah, which I don't know why the fuck you would, because Dinah just accomplishes better, then you've got a Dinah at 17 and a Stormwinds at 15. They have to attack into the Dinah. And I mean, if you've got them locked down and not being able to special summon, they're probably not going to be able to run over 1700 attack unless they summon like a fucking Huffenis and swing over it with 18. And even then you should be more prepared, like with a Dimension Guardian or something. But I also don't think you should be playing Seal Void Calcos because it doesn't really progress your game state at all. And it's just kind of ass. So, but that was something that my dad and I were messing around with for fucking forever ago so guys let me know what you think down in the comments below this stun deck i'm super excited to go play this i'm gonna go troll some people along with crooked cook exodia too we've been trolling the fuck out of people with that thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video